heart disease is the leading cause of death in the United States, with more than 800,000 people dying each year. Carolyn Clifford joins us now with a look at a new study that compares more than 3,000 U.S. counties in regard to deaths from heart disease. Carolyn? Stephen and Glenda, a lot of women still worry about breast cancer, but heart disease is the number one killer of both men and women. Still, overall, heart disease-related deaths have been declining, but not for everyone. That decline has not been the same for everyone. So um, some counties have had a significant decline and they've had significant health improvements. Some counties have been left behind and particularly the ones that have uh, not had a significant change have been those counties in the southeast. Researchers looked at death rates due to heart disease throughout the United States over the past 30 years. They found that rates from the 1980s have decreased significantly by about 50%. However, for clusters in southeastern Oklahoma, stretching across the Mississippi River Valley and upward to southeastern Kentucky, there remains a high incidence of deaths from both heart attacks and stroke. Dr. Ahmed says the results of the study are not surprising and that there is still a lot of work to be done to improve the health outcomes for the people in these areas. He says that factors that can improve health outcomes include access to high quality care, the addition of more walkable communities and biking lanes, as well as educational campaigns that target high risk groups. Empowering residents in these areas with the knowledge that they need to be able to make heart healthy choices. Dr. Med also said, the good news is this, in most cases, the risk factors for heart attack and stroke are reversible. At least 50% of cardiovascular disease is due to modifiable risk factors, mainly quitting smoking can have a huge impact on your risk. So true, Dr. Med is from the Cleveland Clinic. He added that exercising, losing weight, changing your diet, partnering with your doctor to reduce your blood pressure, and taking the right medications to aggressively control your cholesterol can all lower a person's risk of heart disease tremendously. Complete results of the study can be found in the Journal of the American Medical Association. Something for us all to think about. Stephen? A lot more to think about. Carolyn, mm -hmm. thank you.